Hello everyone and welcome back to Closets Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Echo Lake. This indie puzzle adventure game will take you on a magical journey on a boat, solving puzzles in a nice, casual, relaxing environment. It is available on Steam for €10.99 or your regional equivalent. But remember, this is an early access game. Let's first talk about how the game plays. At the start of the game, you are in a boat, rowing alone under the moonshine. You have a nice friendly fish guiding you on your journey through the open seas. During your travels, you will be facing tremendous dangers, fighting sea monsters, battling pirates and… yeah, I'm kidding. This game is really relaxing. While playing, you will just be solving some puzzles. But don't be disappointed, the game is very nice and very much fun. The game offers 8 different areas for you to explore, each introducing a new mechanic for you to play with. But the basic principle is still the same. You have to connect the stars that are being reflected on the water surface. And as you connect them, you must place the lines through the starfish who are laying there in the water. Once you activate all the starfish, a block of ice will dissolve and you will be able to progress further to the next puzzle. This might sound really simple, but as you progress more and more mechanics get involved in solving the puzzles. The mechanics include things like squid spraying ink, Changing the starfish into stars so you can connect other lines and pufferfish who make other things move into different positions and many more. What is really nice is that the levels aren't disconnected from each other by loading screens. Well, for the most part. The loading screens are only between larger areas but you get about 12 to 15 puzzles at a time without any loading screens. Instead of that you get to row to the next puzzle. And along the line, you have a chance to explore a bit and find different collectibles that give you a bit of an insight into the universe the game takes place in. Not that they are really descriptive, but I've got a feeling that this is something the developers are still working on. The thing I really like about this game is how calm it feels. The puzzles don't require you to think fast and are very cleverly designed in a way that even when you feel like you might have screwed up, it isn't really the case. You just have to look to puzzle over and it's always solvable. On the other hand, the puzzles are a little bit too easy in my opinion. You can often just brute force your way through them and it won't be even that time consuming to do it. But altogether, I really enjoyed playing through this game. On total, I spent about 3 hours playing it straight before I finished it and all the way through I had fun and was very much relaxed. The first puzzles in each area did a very nice job of introducing to each new mechanic and the ones that are further down in the areas feel very satisfying to solve. That is just the ideal way to pace the game's progression. The visual style of the game is incredibly fitting towards this game. The dark blue tones are incredibly soothing and the light blue and orange tones of the actual puzzles give out an optimistic, almost cheerful vibe. And that with the fact that the gameplay itself is relaxing as well, the Carl palette takes this just up another notch. The game is done in the Unity engine. This may sound like a bad thing, as so many bad games abuse the fact that you can easily build a game without any creativity, just buying assets and putting them together. Luckily, this isn't the case here. Maybe you will be sensing a theme here, but the music is very relaxing. The game uses soft, short tones with a very quiet, underlining melody. These two things together only strengthen the two previous aspects that already made the game quite relaxing, the gameplay and the visual style. Performance wise there really isn't that much to talk about. The game isn't taxing at all, runs well, doesn't crash and is generally a nice piece of software. I even got to play through TeamViewer when I was showing it to my girlfriend at her place and even then it was nice, smooth and very playable. So in conclusion, I do really like this game, it is nice and fun and quite relaxing, a superb choice for any casual gamer who likes puzzles as the puzzles themselves aren't that difficult to solve and a still great choice for even the most of hardcore gamers since even those have to relax while playing something different than the most esporty game they are currently killing it at. Additionally, this game is a great choice for parents of small children looking for a game for their child to play, as this game promotes spatial and logical thinking, all in a very nice package. Well, 
That's it for today guys, hope you liked the review, and if you did, please consider liking it, subscribing to my channel for more gaming reviews, or comment if you have something you would like to add. And if you don't like the video, well, dislike it. See you all next time with more gaming content.